Hi there and welcome. Today I want to talk about assignment in R and especially about the assignment operator here and the equal sign here. You probably know that you can assign a value to a vector with the assignment operator like you do here in line 3. We have vector A and I assign it the value 3. You see here right in the environment um, the object A exists now with the value 3 and I call on A in line 4 and you see below in the console on the left um, we have the object A now with the value 3. The same works also with the equal sign. I can write, write A equals 4 and I call on A and you see in the console A has the value 4 now. So I usually tell my students um, please use the assignment operator because it makes more clear what you're trying to do. An equal sign might be more misleading as it is usually used to specify parameters in function calls. Here we have the example of mean function. We call mean on a and we have the parameter na.rm. Ignore missing values equals true. In this case we don't have any missing values but if there were missing values we would still get a valid result of the non-missing values. And then usually a clever student asks me if the assignment operator or the equal sign behave differently in assignment. And I didn't have, used to have an answer for a while until I found examples where they do in fact behave differently in assignments. And here there's one example with a custom defined function. I call it square root and it doesn't calculate one square root only, but all square roots from 1 up to the number that we specify in the function call here, denoted n. So we create this function, you see it now in the environment, as a function square root. And now we want to calculate all square roots from 1 to 5 million. 5e6, that's a 5, 6 zeros. And we assign it to the vector result. And now you see it. In the environment, large numeric, 5 million elements, 38 megabytes. So it's a huge vector. And we look at the first few values just to make sure that our function worked as expected. And you see the first value is 1, so the square root of 1 is 1. And the fourth value is 2, so the square root of 4 is 2. So the function seems to work well. And now we want to know how long it takes R to calculate all these values. And we use exactly the same call as in line 17. But around it, we place the system time function. And I do this in line 20, and we see it took 0.05 seconds to calculate all these square roots. And now in line 21, we do the same thing, but we use the equal sign instead of the assignment operator. And I do this, and you see that now we get an error message. Why? The error is unused argument result. And the way I wrote it here, R interprets result as a parameter of the system time function. Um, and the system time function obviously doesn't have a parameter result. You can look it up in the help if you like. So here R interprets our call differently and um, we have no result vector being created, but we get an error message. So this is one example where they behave differently, the assignment operator and the equal sign. And let's look at a few more examples. These are from a blog post by the French R expert Colin Fay. I have a link here to his blog and there, there's more to this blog article so it's worth reading. Um, we look at one example we call the median on x equals 1 to 10. We get a result down here in the console 5.5 .5, and that's correct obviously and if I call on the object x it doesn't exist. Now we try the same but we use y instead of x and now the call doesn't work at all error, argument x is missing. And we now we look at the help file and you see that x is a parameter of the median function. So that's why line 26 worked. We specified the parameter x and in line 29 um, there's no parameter y so we get an error message. But if I use the assignment operator rather than the equal sign, things look different. We go to line 32 we get the same result as before, 5.5, but now if we call on the object x, it exists. So here we have two function calls actually. The first function call assigns the vector x with values 1 to 10, and the second function call 
calculates the median of this vector. And now writing it this way, also line 35 is working. We assign the vector y, the value is 1 to 10, and then we also have this object vector y, and of this object vector y we can calculate the median 5.5. So we're almost finished. One more example. The assignment operator is also nice because, because you can specify um, assignments to the left and to the right. This may look a bit crazy here, line 40. We have the value 12 in the middle, and to the left we assign it to the vector g, and to the right we assign it to the, the vector h. And now you can stop the video and guess whether this will work without an error message or not. Um, you can stop now if you or make your guess and we try it out. So I call on line 40 and it works without an error message and you see I can print G to the console and you can also print H to the console and both contain the value 12. So this line actually worked. Um, this example is maybe a bit crazy and you won't need it in real world examples but you can use it for example at the end of um, pipelines deployer or Gritter with a pipe operator, and at the end, you can assign the final result to a vector using this assignment to the right hand side. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.